In this video, we're going to discuss the offer granted workflow trigger. Now, this workflow trigger will only trigger if you have an offer and you're granting an offer to someone. So you can have a lot of different ways that people sign up for your memberships, uh, but you can build them into offers, which are either paid or free. And this workflow trigger is going to basically listen for when an offer is granted. Okay, so we're gonna click on this add new workflow trigger box. Uh, we're gonna search for offer. And as you can see, we have two here, offer granted, offer removed. Now we're gonna talk about offer removed in a separate video. So we're gonna look at offer access granted. Now, if I want this workflow to trigger off of a more broad event, I can just keep it as it is and not add any filters, which means every time an offer is granted, no matter which offer it is, this workflow is gonna fire. Now, that could get a little messy if you have a lot of offers, but if you only have one or two offers and you're not sending anything specific to uh, new members, you can do that. But what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add a filter and we're gonna select the specific offer. So what we're gonna essentially doing is we're saying, hey, if someone signs up for our main offer, if we grant someone access to our main offer, we're gonna do all this stuff. Or we could choose the side offer. So once we're done choosing the offer we want, that workflow trigger is complete. We're gonna save that trigger. And now anytime the, we grant access to that offer, all of these things below are gonna happen. So you choose whatever actions you want in your workflow. Uh, but these are just some you know, test or placeholder actions, right? We're gonna add a tag, we're gonna send them an SMS, an email, and, and so on and so forth. Make sure you save and publish your workflow when you're done, and then you're all set. So that was the offer access granted workflow trigger, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.